What is up, guys? It's me, your old pal, Christopher. And uh, today, I just wanted to let you all in know that I started playing, <laughs> believe it or not, version 1.10 of Minecraft. Now, you'll know that uh, Optifine, the program, is updated to only the 1.9.4, but... As you probably no doubt aware, yesterday was the release of Minecraft Episode 6. That's right, Episode 6 of Minecraft Story Mode was released. Oh. Yes. I've updated the game to the latest version. So this is the first video. I know the frame rate's not that great, but Optifine, well, it'll fix that up. Hmm. I know it's been buggy lately, but with chunks not always loading. Ah, uh -uh, there they go. Yes, I started using command blocks to, uh, here in my little armory here. <sighs> in this room, there's nothing. See, PC version of the game is the only version I'd know of that allows you to use uh, command blocks. Now, I haven't been uploading yesterday because uh, yesterday I was playing Minecraft Story Mode. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Mm. Cooked beef. Oh. There. Yeah, I haven't been able to... I haven't found it had any luck finding any mobs. As you can, are no doubt aware, Optifine's not available. For 1.10. It only works up to version 1.9.4. But today happens to be... The big day. Today's the first day where I start playing 1.10. Oh, look. I didn't even use... Oh, most of these are grown, but... Haven't even used bone meal. Yeah, I started farming. Uh, I gotta set that block back to a farmland. Tab, tab, tab. Farmland. I'm going to wait for the moisture on that one to increase before I send, put a seed in there. Hmm. Wheat seed. Oh, right. I gotta go to the... Okay. Uh, sudden change in the game. Unfortunately... I don't know if... Wheat seeds... Okay, I got it. Yeah, I may have to, the game consistently updates all the time, so. Uh, yeah, 
yeah. I mean, it's just been a few minutes. Uh, weather clear. But the main thing is Oh. I bet that I can't use a give command because Oh Give Myself Wheat Seeds Alright, none of the give commands have changed Thank goodness for that Well, I may have to go back to my nether base, but thanks to the command block I have, I can transport there. Mm. Yeah. Funny you should know, no. Funny how you all wanted me to do a face cam. Oh, privacy settings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played this on Windows 10, yet. I didn't know that they had a pocket edition for Windows 10. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I gotta go to settings. Which one's the privacy? The one. I gotta allow the use of the camera. Because uh, you all been requesting face cam. Here. <laughs> Let me go open up the camera for you. Here it is. Now we can do face cam. Uh oh. Uh oh. My bad. Thought I'd be able to do it, but now I can't. Funny, I should also note. It froze on me, so... The face camera froze on me, so... I'm gonna just go back to privacy settings for a minute. You know, last night I didn't upload anything because, uh... I didn't upload anything because I was playing one uh, episode six of story mode on my PlayStation 4. Hmm. Hmm. Episode six of story mode. Of course. That's by Telltale Games. The actual Minecraft itself is by... None other than... is by Mojang. 
Hope I didn't take my armor didn't take any nope, it didn't take damage. Really funny. <laughs> oh yeah. This is my first uh time because a few minutes ago yeah I just heard about 1.10 being released and right now minecraft and has become oh, I gotta I'm finding mob sounds annoying I'm gonna go to sounds hmm which one's the mobs? Friendly creatures. I'm gonna turn creatures down because uh, they're annoying. I find that uh, Commands only. Yeah, I'm changing the chat settings so that commands only. I'm sorry if I didn't have Optifine on because this is 1.10 and I checked where you can download Optifine and it's not ready for 1.10. It was just released. Just released. Let me try this one again. Yeah. <laughs> I have the debug screen on, as always, whenever I do uploads. I tried to do face cam for y'all, but clearly it didn't work out as I planned. Gosh, I find mobs and sounds annoying. I mean, I turned the volume down all the way to half. You know... <sighs> Funny thing is that they've added new mobs into the game. And new blocks, yet... I have no idea what new b the new blocks are. That's a, that's the diamond block house I was making when I first, uh, it was either when I first, well, I Nedwood was showing me how to, he threw his videos how to make NPC houses, but anyway, you can use whatever materials you want when you make your buildings. Personally, you might want to... I prefer diamond houses because they're much more colorful than the cobblestone. Yeah, I've added some carpet, light blue carpeting. <sighs> you know, funny thing is that uh, Minecraft episode story mode episode six. It carries over from episode 5. And I was playing the whole episode last night. Mm. No, I cannot do... Uh, uh, I don't know how to upload game footage from my PlayStation 4.
You see... You see, the funny thing is, I was playing the PlayStation 4 edition of Minecraft Story Mode on my PlayStation Vita, be it Remote Play. I'll try to keep you all informed when, uh... Minecraft a story mode. All right. Because, believe it or not, I'm not going to give too much away. But you should complete. You should consider getting yourself. Oh, the game. I'm going to switch to game mode one. Show you what polar bears look like. They've added that mob into the game. Spawn Polar Bear Game Mode Survival Yeah, I want to see what they look like mm. Wow Of course If you ever spawn these guys Make sure you're in a snow biome. Uh, okay? Because if you're not near the snow biome... <clears throat> uh, spawn polar bear. Of course, I'm in extreme hills right now. <sighs> you know, I, I, I haven't been able to learn how to... If someone can tell me in the comments how to summon sheep with uh, customized colors for wool. Because uh, I know how to use the summon command. It's... Hmm. The fact that I, I don't know how to summon you with sheep that have s customized colors. Makes it hard for me to... Enjoy the game as much as you guys. Yeah, I had to... Since I was lost, I had to transport myself back to my armor... My nether brick house. Now. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I need to get rid of those doors. Okay. Now, I'm going to wait for those uh, chunks, for those item frames to, yeah, perfect. Now I can show you why I had to create this armory using command blocks. I had to go to game mode one. I've been leaving items like this in my houses. Well, except for the shield, of course. You're probably wondering about the American flag on my shield. Well... There is a video... Well... It is possible to... Color your... To add color to your shields. But first, you'll need a banner. Hmm. Hmm. But, well, I'm here, I might as well show you. With the command blocks for enchanted, uh, custom enchanted items, I'm going to show you the diamond helmet here. Hmm. 
based on uh, my personal experiences, in the in the other build another uh, brick building, I uh, had command blocks with an custom enchantments. But this, I have command blocks that give items with those same enchantments. ID. Hmm. However, you're gonna have to go to the Minecraft Wikia yourself. Uh, I'll try my best to provide a link in the description. That way, you'll know what enchantments to use. But when you enchant, make sure to use the squiggly bracket and colon square bracket the enchant the squiggly bracket the ID number of the enchantment you want then colon well ID colon the number ID make sure it's compatible with the item or it won't work level I always use the maximum level of that item I'm only going to show you for this one because enchantments they're all different for each one. If you, know, if you want more enchantments, you'll have to put the close the squiggly bracket after the level number of the previous output, then a colon, and then repeat until you are done. Now when you once you're done, you won't want to close it off with a square bracket, then squiggly bracket. I'm going to hit cancel here so I don't alter the command. Hmm. Toggle. Do weather. Oh. Yeah, I, I can't find it. Funny, I can also use uh, command blocks to change the game mode. Oh, we'll choose this one. See, when you use command blocks, not every command is going to be accepted. You gotta make sure it's a player command as well. Although, because this is single player, I always use my name. In multiplayer worlds, it might be acceptable to uh, use these. The at P, the at R, the at A, and the at E. Hmm. But... I always use command blocks for pretty much everything. Although... Funny, I don't want to give too much away, but... I started getting interested in these command blocks when I started playing Minecraft Story Mode on the PlayStation 4. You know, it's too bad you cannot make anything out of command blocks except make stuff appear or commands as long as they give you stuff. I always like to label mine. I always like to put a, either an item frame or a sign up so that uh, that way I'll know what I'm are actually going to do with the command. Let's switch to survival mode. See... Mm -mm. Sorry if the frame rate's laggy here.
Ooh. I always like to play the game legitimately. Didn't I turn the volume down for mobs? Done. Hmm. I gotta always keep them on. Yeah. Well, let me check how long I've been. Oh yeah. So basically, Minecraft uh, story mode, despite the fact that it was also developed by Mojang, was also done in part by Telltale Games. However, when I bought it on the PlayStation 4, on PlayStation Network, it was always because I was playing Minecraft on the PS4 a lot. But, then I also know that I can... Finally. I gotta find more mobs to, uh... Though I did enable cheating in my wor Minecraft world... Mm. Oh, right. Because in episode 6 of Minecraft, they were talking about tipped arrows. No. No. And believe it or not, I know exactly what they are because I use them every time I go hunting for sheep. Not to give too much away, but you might actually want to consider a whole what to do. <laughs> uh oh. Let me just go back to my nether house. I can always navigate easier there. I always... I always use these. This is my armory for tipped arrows. Although... Legitimately, you'll get Arrow of Splashing. Oh, let me go to combat, because you'd see tipped arrows in. Hmm. You'd have to craft these. And let me just... Let me just grab a... What potion do I want to use? And for combat... So I'm going to show you how to... craft these tipped arrows. Uh, I gotta go back to my nether base.
No. NPC house. Let's see. The potion goes in the center. Oh, you don't use... You don't use regular potions. Okay. Oops. That wasn't bad out of me. Without wasting an arrow. I gotta go all the way back to my armory and pick... Go back all the way to my armory. Okay, I won't be going back there yet, but... And... Uh, whoa, well, then. It's gotta be a splash potion. This one ought to do. Survival mode. Oops. Oh, I forgot you need dragon's breath. I forgot you need dragon breath. You know what? Never mind. Uh, I think they changed their crafting recipe to tipped arrows. I don't think you can legitimately craft them. <sighs> Although I used to be able to. Sometimes it's easier, more convenient for me to play the game with cheats on. I gotta get rid of the items I just wasted. And while I'm here... Might as well go back to my armory and get another bow. I don't know if you can legitimately craft uh, tip arrows in the game anymore. You would, uh, literally have to go to creative mode and get them. But, this is my, uh, first time playing Minecraft 1.10 with the new updates. And, uh, yeah. I tried to craft a tipped arrows. Mm. Although I t also tried to do face cam for ya. Wouldn't work the way I wanted to do it.
So I'm sorry. Anyhow. I think it's one of those uncraftable items. I mean... The game consistently keeps updating itself. Um, yeah, I need to go back and get another bow. Yeah, I, ke I like keeping everything in pristine condition. Uh... Still working out the bugs. I'm so used to the old crafting recipes. I keep forgetting the game consistently changes the crafting recipes. I gotta get to the... You know, they keep updating the game to the point where crafting recipes have to change consistently. But I'm glad the game keeps updating as it is. Oh yeah, there was nothing in that item frame to begin with. <laughs> I just put it there, that way when I go into creative mode, I can use the middle wheel button, and I get an item frame. <sighs> However, mm -hmm, let's see, Where's my, ah, this is the one I want. However, when I'm in this, House is like, oh, here are all the dies. Right here. I put them all in the house. However, usually when I'm in a house like if this one, I always do everything I can to mob proof it. Though I didn't get a chance to do it to, for my nether brick houses. Because I, I don't know. I, see mobs coming into big ha uh, regions with lots of buildings in them. Hang on. Uh, all right. I forgot I have to be in creative mode. Do not remove items from marked chests. I'm lucky I'm able to switch to creative mode. This is where I keep all the dies. Oh, and, uh, yeah, oh. Okay, I'm gonna go into the options. Uh, 
Where's the weather? Oh, right. You gotta have a... Uh, This tower I was showing you in my last video. Someday I may end up putting chests in here. But I'm going to be doing it off camera. Plus I was basing it off the NPC houses. <laughs> yes. You see... In case none of you know, I always like keeping my items in uh, pristine condition. But while I'm in creative mode, I can use the middle mouse button to grab any item I want. Such as a chest. But since this is creative mode, when I push it down, it stays put down. But when I switch to survival mode... Hmm. Yeah, I, I like keeping my items in pristine condition. I like keeping items in pristine condition. So... Since I didn't want to put... I was thinking about putting chests in here anyway. But I gotta be careful. But only if I ever see a need for it. Oh, right, it's a redstone circuit. Ah uh, yes, and in case you're wondering why I also have a redstone circuit here, let me just go into the transportation tab and put a mine cart. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, I right click to get on. Well, let me remind you why I built these rails. Because that way I can get from the NPC, the diamond house, to my NPC uh, houses, which I built myself. And you can see an NPC church that was already in the game. Now, I gotta be careful not to let this, uh... I gotta be careful not to get off the cart because it will not move if I'm outside the render distance. Yeah, you're for, I'll uh, explain that when, when we get off. Creative mode. Let me get rid of this cart. There's a good reason why I had to do it like that. Hmm? Oh, I see now. There was a cart in the way. Well, when I was playing in the console edition, I'd always build rails between villages to connect them. But you know, 
I'd always wanted to see if there was a mod in the game that would allow for more or frequent travel. So I kind of miss flying in survival mode. I'm in creative right now. I kind of miss flying in survival mode. I mean, when I enabled host privileges in the console edition, I was allowed to do that. Hmm. But, in story mode, there's an actual adventure you go through. I kind of miss flying in story mode. I used to do that all the time, especially when I was playing a lot on my PlayStation Vita. But this is 1.10 we're playing. So... <laughs> I know the frame rate's not great, but at least it's decent enough not to lag. Hmm. Oh, right. Anyhow, I'm gonna close off the video now. I'm gonna get rid of these items I have no need for. I'm gonna close off the video now. Be sure to comment like, subscribe, and share. Facebook and Google Plus links are in the description. So is the links to OMG Craft and I Ned Wood. And so is the link for Optifine. You might want to check the link for Optifine consistently to know when the release for, for version 1.10 will be ready. So, yeah. Because it helps with performance a lot. Especially if you're playing on a laptop like me. Hmm. I'm lucky the game even played to begin with. I had to allocate a, rod, a lot of my RAM over. But someday, I'll be able to play this without lag. So, I'm gonna switch to survival mode. And I'll see you next time! Save and quit the title. Oh.